Serpent Mound, located in southwestern Ohio, remains as fascinating today as when it was first constructed nearly 1,000 years ago. Serpent Mound is a giant earthwork. It's an effigy mound that was built by the Fort Ancient Culture around the year 1070 AD. This location is really unique, uh, both naturally. Uh, first off, this is the site of an impact crater. The terrain around here is very different from the surrounding areas. It's very unique, very complex. If you look at the head of the serpent, the profile from the creek, that if you look at the profile of the stone, it, it kind of resembles a reptile or a snake's head. The first people that built any kind of earthworks here were called the Adena people, and they built the burial mound around 800 BC. The smaller mounds are Fort Ancient burial mounds, which is very unique to this site and to that culture because Fort Ancient usually buried them in stone-lined graves Fort Ancient Indians were descendants, we believe, from a group called the Mississippians. We believe that the Fort Ancient people uh, migrated into uh, the area that we live in today, primarily southern Ohio, northern Kentucky, and southeastern Indiana. Fort Ancients were the last prehistoric group, and they lived here from 1000 AD to approximately 1600 AD. Much can be learned about the Fort Ancient by the artifacts they left behind. The pottery was handmade with local clays. It was formed in coils, and then it was fired in an underground kiln and then used for cooking. Each clan had a different pattern that they would incise on the rim, and we could tell families from that different pattern. The bone tools, they used a lot, like I said, of deer, the most interesting tool, I would say, is fish hooks. They made those out of the ankle bones of deer. Uh, very strong tools. They made scraper, hide scrapers out of the legs of deer. A lot of tools out of the antlers. The Fort Ancient people were truly the first farmers. Hopewell people, which came before them, I consider gardeners. They started domesticating plants, but the Fort Ancient people were truly uh, agriculturalists. They used primarily three types of farming tools. They, the most common one was the uh, mussel shell hoe. They also made hoes out of shoulder blades of elk and deer for chopping the ground, preparing the soil for planting. They used rakes out of deer antlers to clear the ground, and they used fire-hardened sticks as planting sticks, or what we might know as a dibble today to make holes to plant the seed. So what exactly is Serpent Mound? And how did the Fort Ancient people use it? Serpent Mound is a giant effigy mound. It's a calendar to mark the four seasons. The summer solstice sunset lines up with the head of the serpent. The serpent is composed of three parts. There's the tail, which is coiling. It's on the southwestern corner. Then it's composed of three eastward facing bends, which align with the equinox and solstice sunrises. The serpent mound was not used as a burial mound. There are no cultural remains or human remains associated with serpent mound at all. The mound was constructed in three layers. The initial layer was stone. Above the stone layer is a layer of clay and ash and topsoil. Now the surface of the mound, we do not know whether it was left barren or covered in grass or another vegetation. The soil that they used for construction came from ground located south of the serpent. They carried them in baskets over their foreheads on what's called a tump line or a burden strap. And then they would just dump the soil onto the appropriate place and tamp it down. Serpent Mound has intrigued many over the years. The site was first excavated in the late 19th century by famed archaeologist Frederick Ward Putnam. The site was uh, not discovered by Mr. Putnam, who came from Harvard University. It was discovered by Squire and Davis in the 1840s. They were the first ones to map the site. And they did a lot of work with a lot of the mounds around the Ohio Valley. Frederick Ward Putnam was a professor of archaeology from Harvard University. They call him the father of American archaeology. He reconstructed this mound. He excavated the mound, photographed the mound, took copious notes. He created all that in the 1880s. 
In terms of archaeology of the site, in 1991, uh, one of our staff archaeologists, a man by the name of Brad Lepper, excavated one of the bends near the tail, and that's where they came up with the new date of 1070 AD with the Fort Ancient culture. Prior to that, they believed that it was built by the Adena people. One of just three serpent effigy mounds in the world, Serpent Mound has recently been nominated to become a UN World Heritage Site, where it would join the likes of the Pyramids of Giza, Machu Picchu, and the Taj Mahal.